to change the puncture tire, firstly open the tailgate by pressing the tailgate release switch. Open the toolbox to take the jack and other tools out. The tools consist of a jack operating lever, a wheel winch and a winch access tool. There is no need to take out the tow bar or the toolbox. Take out the plastic cap covering the winch nut. That's your winch access tool. To lower the spare wheel, fix the tool on the winch nut and turn the tool anti-clockwise. Keep turning the tool till the spare wheel hits the ground. Take out the winch plate and you can easily pull out the spare wheel. Now let's take out the puncture tire and fit the spare tire in its place. Open the wheel cap by giving it a gentle nudge from the top portion. Then open the wheel nuts by turning the wheel spanner anti-clockwise. This should be done when the tire is touching the turf. That's one of the four jacking points in the XUE 500. Jacking points are the reinforced portions under which you're supposed to place the jack heads or the arms of the hydraulic ramp. Not placing the jack head properly could prove to be dangerous. It could perhaps dislocate the jack. Connect the jack operating lever to the eye of the jack. Now, connect the wheel spanner rod to the jack operating lever and turn it clockwise. This could require some extra effort. Raise the jack as much as possible and ensure that the puncture tire is well off the ground. Now unfasten the loosened wheel nuts by turning the wheel vents anti-clockwise. This gets done in no time. After that, take out the wheel nuts and pull out the puncture tire. Bring in the spare tire and fit it in place of the puncture tire. While putting back the wheel nut, the tapered face of the wheel nut should always go first. It is imperative to tighten the wheel nuts in the correct sequence. Now it's time to lower the jack. Turn the jack operating lever anti-clockwise and ensure that you lower the jack fully down. With the tire firmly placed on the ground, tighten the wheel nut to the fullest in the right sequence. Drive your car to the nearest Mahindra authorized dealership to tighten the wheel nuts with the correct top values. That's the valve stem. And that's the cut provided to gain access to the valve. Fix the wheel cap by thumping it gently, just the way he's doing it. Finally, fitting the punctured tire in place of the spare tire. Roll back the punctured tire to the rear portion of your car and push the tire in. Insert the winch plate in the center slot and pull the winch cable to confirm whether the winch plate has gotten properly inserted. After that, use the winch access tool to raise the punctured tire up. Turn the tool clockwise till you hear a click sound. The click sound is the confirmation that the tire has gotten fully tightened. Put back the winch nut cap and tighten it with the curvy end of the winch access tool. Now put back the jack and the other tools in the toolbox.
and close its fabric lid and then simply shut down the tailgate. On the infotainment screen, press home, go to car info and go to Tatronics and you can see the status before the TPMS acknowledgement. Drive the car about 40 km per hour for a few kilometers and you would see the rear right tag swap message on the screen. You have to acknowledge that by pressing the TPMS switch and you can see the rear right message changing to OK and the spare tire shows low pressure. This is the new display status after the acknowledgement. Press Tyrotronics and start driving your car. Once you start to drive your car, you will receive this display on your infotainment screen. Long press the TPMS switch to get the OK status for the spare wheel. This circle alert vanishes on long pressing the TPMS switch. Now the TPMS shows OK OK everywhere. Even if you don't feel air in the spare tire and long press the TPMS switch in this scenario, the status would still show OK for the spare tire. That's it. That's how we acknowledge the tire swap in TPMS.